Hello friends, in this video, I'm just going to explain how to install Kali Linux in Windows 11 or Windows 10 PC. You can install it smoothly without any errors. Even if it is any errors, right, we are going to solve it in this video. I'm going to install this Kali Linux in VMware Workstation Player. So you need to download this software and you need to install it in your PC. So I will be providing all the link in the descriptions. So you can take it. So try Workstation 16 Player for Windows. So this is the latest version. So you can just click on download now and install it. Once you install it, right, you can see this that will be added on VM Workstation player on your Windows. So I'm going to open it. VMware Workstation already I have installed it. And next thing you need ISO files. So in order to get this ISO files right on Poly website, I mean poly.org, uh, you will not have any direct path. So I'm going to provide the direct link you can get it from the descriptions. So this is the latest one, Kali 2021.3. Here you can see Kali Linux installer. Uh, I need amd64.iso. This is the file actually we need to install. Just click on this and then automatically it will be downloaded. I have downloaded it completely. It's a 4.6 GB, I guess. So I saved it in desktop. That's it. Now we can install. Open this VM Workstation 16 player and click on this create a new virtual machine so here right actually you need to choose new virtual machine wizard so we need to choose i will install the operating system later then click on next and here we need to choose linux and choose this debian 10.x 64 bit so this is the latest one 64 bit we need to choose and this is in linux right then click on next and you can name it whatever you want which will machine name, right? Here I'm going to name it Poly Linux. So automatically the location is created here. So this is the default locations. If you want, you can change it. Click on browse and you need to choose your folder here. Whether it's a C drive, E drive or F drive, you can choose whatever you want. I'm going to give cancel and this is the default location I'm going to install. Then click on next. So this is the default this size. I'm going to increase it to 80. This is uh, sufficient. If you want, you can uh, increase it later and choose split virtual disk into multiple files and then click on next. And here also you can customize the hardware, but there is an error. There is no information here. So that is not a problem. We can solve it. So close it and click on finish. So Kali Linux is created. I mean, virtual machine is created here. Click on this edit virtual machine settings to change that uh, RAM memory size and all. So by default, it's 2 GB. I'm going to make it 8 GB. Super cool. And then click on processor. RAM is changed. Processors, I'm going to make it four processor. If you want to increase this hard disk size, right? You can just click on expand and you can increase it. And then come to CD, DVD, IDE. Here we need to map this download ISO image file. So use ISO image file and click on browse. Here, what I'm going to do is on desktop, I was having this Kali Linux. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to place it inside Kali Linux virtual machines. Just paste it. Okay, paste it here. So copied successfully. It is copied. I'm going to choose this Kali Linux and click on open. Now leave it other settings. If you want, you can change it later. I'm going to leave this default settings. I'm not going to change anything here. And once it is done, right, just give OK. Super cool. If you're not facing any error, right, everything is going good. Then you need to click on this play virtual machines. You can see this RAM size also we have increased. And play virtual machine. Here we are going to install this. Kali Linux installer is opened. We need to choose graphical install. So click on this graphical install control alt. If you use control alt, right? You can use the mouse graphical install. I'm going to choose it. Use the keyboard to scroll down or scroll up. I'm selecting graphical install, then enter. Then select the language, whichever you want to set. And I'm going to choose English, then continue. And choose your country. Then click on continue, then choose the keyboard language. So I'm going to keep it English, then click on continue. Directing hardware and scanning installation media. 
direct and mount installation media. Then if you see this message, right, VMware tools enables many features and improves mouse movement. So if you want to install the tools, you can install it. So I'm going to install tools and uh, I need to give yes here. Then right, we need to set the host name. By default, it is Kali. If you want to rename it, you can rename it. I'm going to leave the default one and clicking continue. If you have any domain names, you can set it here. Otherwise, you can just simply click on continue. So you need to set the user. I'm going to set the user as VK and then click on continue. This is the username of your account. Then click on continue and I need to set the password. So you set the password, confirm password and click on continue. Then here we need to choose central. I mean, this is the time, time zone. So I'm going to choose central, whichever it is perfect to you. Choose it and then click on continue. Here we need to choose this guided use entire desk. So continue. And here by default it is selected. Then I'm going to choose continue. And then all files in one partition are separate home partitions. So we need to choose this all files in one partition. So I'm going to give continue. Super cool. Finish partitioning and right change to disk. Select this. Everything is perfect here and then click on continue. So here write, write the changes to disk. The following partitions are going to be formatted. Write the changes to disk. We need to select yes and then click on continue. Installing the base system. Super cool. Now we are at the sort of selections. So by default, right, uh, already the checkbox is checked. So leave it, don't change anything and then click on continue. You can customize it by choosing different desktop environment. I'm going to leave it the default settings and clicking continue. You need to wait for some time until it is installed. Please be have some patience. Next thing, install the grub bootloader. So we need to choose yes. So then choose yes and click on continue. Here we need to choose this device for bootloader installation. So we need to choose this dev slash SDA. So choose this dev slash SDA, then click on continue. Finishing the installation. Super cool. Installation is completed. Finish the installation. So I need to click on continue. Super cool. We need not to do anything. Booting in two seconds. So automatically it will be booted. So you need not to do anything. I'm going to maximize this. Super cool. Kali Linux is successfully installed. So here, right, we need to provide the user ID and password, which we created. I have created VK is a username. And this is the password. And click on login. Super cool. Kali Linux is successfully installed in VMware Workstations Player. So here you can see this terminal. I need to provide the password. Super cool, right? So terminal is opened. If you click on this Kali Linux icon, you can see this. You can see all these applications and you can start learning or you can work in Kali Linux. If your Kali Linux is slow, if you feel like that, you can change the you can update the settings i mean configurations so first i need to shut down it power and shut down guest yes so here right this is the call it next we have installed and you can edit virtual machine settings and here you can increase the rams as well you can increase the ram size or even cores you can increase it even hard disk space you can increase. So just choose that and click on expand and make it 90 or something. So it is changed. So whatever the changes you want, you can change it here itself. Then give OK. So that's it friends. This is the way you can install Kali Linux on Windows 11 or Windows 10 PC using VMware. Hope this video is very much helpful. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.